What's up you guys, Jason Wardrop here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to make passive income. So we're gonna talk about what passive income is, we're gonna talk about the benefits of passive income, and how you can go through and start generating passive income in your life. Now, basically, passive income is going through and making money when you don't actually have to physically be working. So if you take a look at a doctor, for example, if a doctor is gonna go through and do surgeries, they're making money when they're actually doing the surgery and they're making a lot of money, However, when they go home at night, they're not really going through and making any money. And there's actually several strategies to go through and generate passive income for your life. So you can go through and pay for all of your basic expenses. And in just a second, I'm gonna jump on my computer here and show you guys exactly how much passive income I'm making. And I just started back in January of 2018, so about seven months ago, I started completely from scratch. I didn't invest any money to start generating this passive income. And I'm gonna show you guys the exact numbers that's bringing in now about $139 per day. So basically, that's the equivalent to waking up and every single morning, someone just giving me a $100 bill. And guys, I couldn't find $20 bills. I don't really hang, I don't get cash around my house too often. But it's basically waking up every morning, someone gives you 100 bucks just for waking up and for not really doing anything. Obviously, it takes a lot of hard work to get to that point, but you have that extra $100, $140 to go through and pay for all of your expenses. Now, a key thing to keep in mind here, okay, passive income, it does take work. However, you start working differently. You start thinking about things that you're doing in a much different way. So whenever I'm going through and I'm working on a project, for example, this video, I'm thinking about, okay, is this video or is this project going to benefit me long term? So if it's going to be something that's only going to pay me right then and there while I'm actually working and while I'm doing the job, I don't really want to do that. Whereas if it's something that I can go through and work on it once and then it can bring value to a lot of people long term down the road, like this video, six months, a year from now, people can jump on and be watching this video. That's going to go through. That's going to benefit them. That's going to benefit me. And it's just a much better project to work on as opposed to something that you're just going to be making money for an hourly wage while you're actually working and working on the project. So if you guys think about this, I'm making right now about $140 per day of passive income, which is about a little over $4,000 every single month. And if you think about that, and I started with absolutely zero money, and the amount of money that you would have to go through and invest in real estate or stocks to get that type of return, you can see that there's like some strategies where you can just go through and spend your time and work smart, work efficiently, and you don't have to have a ton of money to go through and get passive income and create and make more money. So with that said, guys, let's jump onto my computer. I'm gonna give you the breakdown of since I started January 2018, I started, as I mentioned, guys, with no money, and I'll show you guys the exact revenue that I brought in, I'll show you guys the sources, I'll show you everything, because I wanna be completely transparent here with this side of my business. Now, this all started out more of a game in the beginning of the year, because I already have, I have a software business that does really well, and that's where I'm going through and making more of my money, but I was like, you know what, it'd be fun to go through and start this little side project, start a YouTube channel, maybe Maybe sell some courses on the side and just see how it can go through and grow and my initial goal was I was like man it would be so cool if this could pay for my mortgage every single month and then once I hit the point where I was paying for my mortgage I was like how cool would that be if it's paying for my mortgage it's paying for my HOA as well so I don't even have to worry about that my passive income can just cover those expenses a hundred percent and now that it's covering my mortgage is covering my HOA it's awesome but I got to set higher goals I got to set higher sites to be able to go through and reach especially because this fall I've got a little baby boy coming so I'm super excited my wife's pregnant she's due the end of September so I'm super excited to go through and this honestly is a big reason why I want to go through and generate passive income so that I can do things and work really hard right now so that when he gets a little bit older I can go through I can throw the football in the yard with him I can shoot hoops with him in the driveway or I can kind of take him to cool things and watch his coaches soccer games so with that said guys let's really jump on the computer now I'm gonna break down everything I'm gonna show you guys what I did and then also I'm gonna share with you guys some different passive income ideas of how to get started with no money whatsoever and then also some other ways if you have some extra money to invest some different ideas you can go through and implement in your life to create this passive income all right guys so here is the monthly breakdown you can see this is January I should probably put 2018 up here. So let's just insert one column above and we'll put 2018. But you can see we got January, February, March, April, May, June, July. 
And as I mentioned, guys, this is completely separate from my software business, from anything I'm doing over there, any course sales or anything I'm doing on that side of things. This is starting completely from scratch. And if you guys go back to my YouTube channel back in 2017, yes, I do have some videos, but it really, I wasn't really taking it seriously until about January of 2018. So you can see this first month, I made about $140 in YouTube ad revenue. So basically what that means is I went through, I made videos, and for every video that was up there and that people watched it, I had ads maybe before the video, maybe throughout the video or at the end of the video, something like that. And I was able to go through and make $140, which honestly, like I put in a lot of work in January. I did a video every single day and each video is about 10 to 15 minutes long, plus the time to edit it, plus the time to research, plus all that stuff. So you look at that and honestly, guys, I probably made less than $1 per hour with the work I did in January. However, if you remember guys, I was thinking, okay, what's not only gonna pay me right now because if you're just thinking about right now, the, the present moment, you would never do this, right? You'd be like, I'm making like 50 cents per hour, why would I ever do this? However, if you change your thinking and think, what can go through and serve me right now and serve me long-term in the future, then you're able to go through and, and change that perspective because a lot of videos I'm actually, that I filmed in January, they now have 40, they have 50,000 views, which that has paid me and added up all this revenue of the YouTube ads throughout the months. So you can see it started off slow, about $140, and I pretty much, I more than doubled my ad revenue in February just because, as I mentioned, guys, I was doing videos every single day. March, same thing, just about doubled, actually a little bit more than doubled, and then you can see in April, um, I, I had still a good jump, like I jumped above $1,000 and that was a huge goal for me. That was my main focus at this point. And then you can see in May, I jumped about another $100, but it was around this point I stopped doing a video every single day just because I was kind of getting that good solid traction that I really wanted. And I started you know, focusing on some other things in my business and you know, I didn't have quite as much time as I did earlier on in the year. And so you can see it went up about 1300 and we still got about a week left so I would assume that I'll probably about match what I made in June right here it's about $1,300 so I've got about another 400 to go and then in January I threw together a course teaching people how to go through and start their own business or their own marketing agency and that's kind of where I got these course sales so when I initially launched it right here you can see I made about 1991 um, in February I made 1994 I went back this is all for my stripe account okay and this is purely like this is not from my email list or anything like that. I have a pretty big email list with my software company, but this is just literally going through and making videos and referring to the course in the link in the description. That's like literally all I did. So now we've got the course sales 1991, 1994 for a total you could see right here. Actually out of the gate, just because of the course sales, it, it was definitely worth it, right? $2,000, an extra $2,000 on top of my salary that I already make was pretty nice, right? So then you go 1494, 497, and May had a little bit of a down month. I don't think I really promoted or talked about my course at all, so that's probably why I had that down month. And then 994 this last month, and then July right here, I'm I've totally revamped my course. I'm totally working on this new train and all that stuff. I've made it a lot better. And so you can see I've been pushing that a lot harder in July. So uh, we got about a week left. So this number is going to be higher. This number potentially could be higher. So I'm expecting about $4,500 for the month in just this passive income that's coming in of just doing these videos that honestly, like when you're up here in this region of making only $140 per month, really not that exciting, right? So it's, it's a little bit tough, but then when you come down to like, you know, you're making $4,000 per month. It's really nice, but you've got to have like that's seven months of hard work, hard labor, of working on things that I know are going to serve me long term in the years to come as opposed to just right now. And so you can see right here the $4,100. If we divide that by 30 days right here, which obviously this number's all, they're all going to go up right here, it's about $139.72. So whenever I'm working, I try to think about this phrase and not necessarily is what I'm doing making me money. 
but is what I'm doing making me the most amount of money? And is this gonna be something that can go through and bring in revenue and actually add value long term? So let's just break down some passive income ideas that you can go through and get started with. There's so many different ideas. Obviously, kind of some of the clear ones are real estate, going through and getting into real estate investing. This house that we bought right here, my wife and I, we initially were gonna have as a real estate investment, and then because the interest rates were so much lower if you go through and first move into it, we just moved in and we're already looking at some other properties. We have this one property that we absolutely love down in Arizona. It actually has two homes on it. So the idea would be to buy that probably next year sometime and then rent out one of the houses to be able to have that pay for the mortgage and then we'll just live in the other house. But I don't know. We don't know if we're moving yet. So that's just a thought. That's kind of the idea of going through and getting into real estate investing. However, with real estate investing, obviously it takes a little bit of money to go through and make money. There are ways to go through and get started with zero down. You can go get lenders to go through and lend you money or raise money or whatever, but typically you're gonna see about an eight to 10% return annually on that money. Now, the cool thing is, is with kind of like the passive income strategy I started with, with absolutely zero money, starting completely from scratch, you would actually need about $630,000 in cash to be able to make the equivalent of roughly $4,100, $4,200 per month. So that's a lot of money to go through and get started. So when you're getting started with passive income, you can either go through and invest money or you can invest your time and do strategic activities that are actually going to pay you long term. So obviously you've got other things. You've got like stocks. You can go through and invest in index funds, um, SEPs, Roth IRAs. You've got um, online courses. You've got an online store. You can go set up a Shopify or Amazon store. You can do drop shipping. And some other ones that are pretty cool that I like You've got car washes, you've got vending machines. Those are things that like you don't actually physically have to be there, but it's an asset that provides value that's gonna be able to kick out money long term. So some other things like that, you can look at billboards. So you go through, you get a billboard in your area, and those typically will rent out for about two thousand dollars per month. And sometimes you can get a two-sided billboard, right? So like depending on which way the traffic is flowing, so you can get two thousand dollars on one side, about two thousand dollars on the other side. That's about four thousand dollars in passive income right there. However, one thing that you got to remember with passive income is that there is work involved to get there. It's not like just go through and do work once and then you're just making money. There's absolutely zero work, right? With real estate, you got to be able to do the property management, deal with tenants, or you can obviously outsource that. But part of the money that you're going to be making is going to go through and pay for that. With billboards, you're going to actually have to make the sales. With car washes, you're going to have to market it to like actually get people to come in. And then another one that's absolutely awesome that I love is uh, parking lots. So if you go downtown in big cities and you've got like the sporting events or the big events, whatever's going on, a concert, and you have a parking lot, that's just a space of real estate. And this kind of goes in the real estate category. But people will go and they'll pay 10 to 20, sometimes $30 just to go through and park there for a couple of hours. Now, obviously, these events don't happen every single night. But it's kind of a cool way just to go pay somebody about 10 bucks an hour Just go collect money for you then obviously you've got storage units Which is awesome because you know It's not really like if you actually have to kick somebody out of the storage unit because they're not paying their bills You're not kicking them out of their home, right? This is just like an added benefit to them of just they've got too much stuff They got to go through and store it somewhere else And so they're paying you a couple hundred bucks a month and you can have so many different storage units on a small location. Some other ideas is a laundromat. So if you live in a big city or near, live near a college town, um, I actually live near a college town, you can go through and start a laundromat. So if they don't have you know, a washer and dryer inside their apartment, they've got to go to a laundromat, pay a dollar, a couple dollars, whatever it is, to go through and get their wa laundry washed. Now, another great way to go through and create passive income is starting your own business. And obviously there's a lot of like there's a lot of views on that of it's hard It's risky. It takes a lot of money It takes a lot of crazy stuff to go through and get started But in my experience if you go through and you do it the right way there actually can be literally zero upfront investment All you have to do is provide a service that's of value to another person Okay, now you probably think well, wait Jason like does that mean I'm just trading my, my hours for dollars well, yes, initially, just kind of like when I was starting my YouTube channel, I was trading my hours for dollars and I was trading it for maybe 50 cents per hour. However, as you go through and build your business, you can hire other people to go through and help you do the work. So then you can focus on certain things in the business like client acquisition 
or things that you love to do and so it doesn't really seem like work or a job at all and you're able to create that passive income and grow your business because you're able to hire other people that have different expertises to help you with things that you don't necessarily love to do anyway so with all that said guys I actually wanted to invite you to a free train I'm gonna be holding this next Tuesday so it's hundred percent live if you guys are watching this video after Tuesday then obviously I'll just drop a link to the recording down there so you guys can go check that out but I'm gonna go through and show you guys how to go and start a business okay and be able to generate some passive income for you in your life now this has absolutely nothing to do with YouTube has absolutely nothing to do with course sales but it's a very simple way to get started with zero investment zero risk zero experience and how you can go through and build a, a business that creates that passive income so you can go through and live the life that you want do you want more time freedom do you want more financial freedom do you want to just you know spend more time with your family be able to go on vacations or do you want to buy the cool things like the cool cars cool houses maybe a second home or something like that this is a great way to go through and get started in that direction so what I'll do guys is I'll add a link down in the description I'll add it down in the comment section to register for this free live training and I'm gonna break down exactly some awesome strategies and some strategies that we use in my other business to be able to go through and generate that passive income for you and your business and as I mentioned guys you literally don't need any experience you don't need any tech skills this doesn't take any huge upfront investment you can literally get started completely from scratch and I'm gonna break down and show you guys exactly how to do that on this training on Tuesday so just click down right below this video register for that training and I will see you guys on that train and also real quick guys if you guys are brand new here if this is your first time make sure you guys subscribe because we launch new videos every single week on how to generate more leads make more money and grow your business so make sure you guys subscribe hit that notification bell and if you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you guys thought and with that said I will see you all later